How's it going, everyone? Uh, today we're going to be talking about Super Mario Galaxy 2 and uh, why it's potentially coming as DLC to Super Mario 3D All-Stars. But before we get into that, I have to remind you, we actually have two giveaways going on right now. The first one is for three copies of Super Mario 3D All-Stars, and the second one is for a Switch Lite and two Switch games of choice. So six total winners. If you want to know how to enter, head down to the description, and it'll explain it all. All right. So we talked about the potential of Super Mario Galaxy 2 being hidden in the game, maybe after you beat all three games. Obviously, the game's out in the wild. We know that's not here. It's not in the in, in the save files. Obviously, there was the file size of it that made it less likely that it was in there. Yeah, there's new compression techniques, but uh, would Nintendo really take advantage of those compression techniques? It seems like this game was put together in six months uh, and all that jazz. We're not here to criticize that. But uh, obviously, Super Mario Galaxy 2 is not included and not a hidden gem in the game. However... It's interesting because as I was going back through uh, all of the reports and all of the rumors and all of this and all of that, now I can't find the exact post because YouTubers, I don't know what it is about them. They tend to be uh, really bad about sourcing things. Now, I always try to provide my sources of information down in the description unless it's a source that's like, you know, I have and then I'm the source. Uh, so I was listening to this uh this video from nintendo land uh, i'll put a link down to his channel and he mentioned uh leakers talking about how this was going to be a four pack and it was originally going to be a four pack and it was going to include super mario galaxy 2 now i went through all the leakers that i've covered in the past and i couldn't find anything but i mean we're talking six plus months worth of tweets and and forum posts and 4chan stuff and it, it's just almost impossible at this point to dig it up on my own i would i would need basically the whole Nintendo Prime army out there digging through stuff uh, to make this happen. But he mentioned it, and then all of a sudden, I started noticing other YouTubers were mentioning it as well. And so if they're mentioning it, then clearly there had to have been um, some leaker, even if it was just one that was talking about Super Mario Galaxy 2 uh, supposedly being a part of this pack. And the reasoning that I guess Mario Galaxy 2 is not in this pack is just because of time. There just wasn't enough time COVID hit, so they weren't in a normal work situation. Uh, they put this together in six months. They built new emulators and, and got these games out there in six months. And they just they just ran out of time and at one point had to decide, you know what, we're just not going to have Mario Galaxy 2 make the cut for release. Now, this doesn't mean that Mario Galaxy 2 won't come to the game. In fact, maybe even as a free update, which would suddenly make the $60 value seem even better for people that were especially critical of it, these games not being worth 60 bucks in a single package. I know it's debatable if it is or not, but you know. Uh, so the prevailing theory that's running around right now uh, among the select few that have been kind of holding out some hope here for Super Mario Galaxy 2 is that it could be a free holiday update. Nintendo could take an extra couple months to get the game ready and release it either as paid DLC, which it could be, it could be paid DLC, you know, twenty dollar or ten dollar or whatever this, they, they would decide to charge for it. Because we can't dismiss the fact that any DLC release could be paid, even though the only DLC for uh, Mario Odyssey wasn't really DLC; it was like a free update to add that, that Luigi stuff. But anyways, the point is, it could be a free holiday bump, or it could be whatever, like, an extra reason to promote this game during the holiday season and an extra reason would be hey by the way we're also including galaxy 2 as a free update uh that would be insane and it would make a lot of sense because it's not that hard the, the, there are certain levels that they might have to rework or, or try to make the controls work around but based on how they made everything work with galaxy i don't think they would have much of an issue with galaxy 2 in my opinion galaxy 2 to me is the superior of the two games Obviously, some people are critical of the story because it, it seems like they basically reuse the same story from Galaxy 1. I get that, but we're not here to critique the game. It already exists. There's no reason to necessarily need to critique it. But uh, I'm just putting out there that there's technically a possibility that it didn't make the cut because of the amount of time that they wanted that they had to make this to get the game out this year. You know, whenever why they decided to do it so so you know decide to basically make it this year is beyond me. That this feels like a decision that should have been made last year. For some reason, they didn't get greenlit until this year. But uh, that's why apparently Super Mario Galaxy 2 isn't in the game. It took six months. Uh, so, well, that means that they very well could have still been working on it as this game was being printed to come out, and it will be added in. Now, one 
interesting thing that's about this that kind of sort of supports the theory is the menu has arrows. Now, we, I don't know why there's arrows. There, there's arrows on the side of the menu. You can go left, right, left, right. But, but there's no pages, right? Normally, when you see arrows like that, it's because there's a page you need to shift to. But there's no pages on that menu. Why is that arrow in there? Why? Is, is it just another leftover, like the debug um, stuff, you know, with the, with the gray boxes and uh, sunshine? You know, is it just another, oh, they, were, they, they had that in there originally, and they were so lazy they forgot to remove it? Well, I don't think that's the case i think what it is is that galaxy 2 was originally on that menu and they removed galaxy 2 from that menu and if you look at how that menu is set up there's a potential that you might have be slightly cut off so then the arrows let you know to kind of you know you that, there, that there's more content uh so i feel like when you look at this whole shenanigan put together that there is still some hope for mario galaxy 2 coming to this game in the future uh, it's just hope, right? It's hope. It's speculation based on leaks that talked about how, you know, hey, you know, it was going to be part of the pack. They just didn't have time. And it would make sense. Uh, I don't know, you know, the order under which they worked on these. I'm sure it was a small team um, that worked on them. You know, if they started with 64 and worked up to Galaxy, you know, they could have just been like, hey, we just don't have time to finish it. I don't really know. I wasn't part of the dev team, and I'm sure we'll hear some development stuff about this someday. There'll be some developer that does an interview at some point that it kind of explains the process and the thoughts behind this, especially once we're past COVID. But I do think that uh, we need to start considering the real possibility that uh, Galaxy 2 could be coming still. I know. It's okay to doubt it. It's okay if you think I'm just completely off base and an idiot and shouldn't be talking about this, but I can't help it, guys. I can't help it. And I know there's those of you out there that are kind of making fun. They make, make, make it a little fun of me. Um, <laughs> here's, a, here's a little meme uh, that, that floated out there about me milking the 3D All-Stars train. But you know what? I can't help it. This game is so fascinating to me. It's a collection of three of the greatest Mario games from my childhood. Literally my childhood from like my, my uh, you know, whatever, like 10-year-old self or whatever, so from like 10 all the way through high school, like literally a, a huge chunk of my childhood that I can actually remember, these three games were a huge, huge part of it. So it's hard for me to just not want to keep talking about this for some reason uh, or any reason at this point. And the reason right now is because my favorite game of that bunch growing up was Galaxy 2. I like it more than 64, more than Sunshine, more than Galaxy. In fact, it was my favorite 3D Mario game until... Mario Odyssey came out. So yeah, I'm going to keep holding out hope because gosh darn it, I'm a huge fan. And yeah, I'll probably still find other ways to talk about 3D All-Stars here and there. Uh, I'm sure there'll be a sales update at some point here in the next week that we'll be able to talk about that. Um, I I just, I, I can't help it. The, the, these games mean so much to me. I think that's what gets lost on people. You know, people look like, you know, oh, you're just, you're, you're, you're milking 3D All-Stars. You're milking it. You're milking it because look at the views on your video. Yeah, sure, there's been good views. And maybe there'll be good views on this one. Maybe there'll only be a thousand views on this one. I don't know. But what I do know is I'm talking about these games so much because of their importance to my life. I don't know if I've made a video on it and maybe I will in the future, but I, I've talked about the importance of Zelda in my life. Uh, and, and the Zelda franchise and particular games that, that helped me out through tough times, Mario was there too. And I feel like I need to remind people of that. So I might might be doing a video, uh, maybe at the culmination of all this, about this is why I've been talking about 3D All-Stars so much and getting to the truth about what these three games actually mean to me, four games, to be completely honest. But again... That's for another video when the time is right. All right, folks. I am Nathaniel Robojets from Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.